Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany and as you guys can see, I have moved my room around and I'm going to keep it like this for at least a long, long time. This gives me a lot more room and a lot more space for when I take clients and for when I make wigs and everything. This is just way more practical and I just like it like this. It gives me, I don't know, just I feel more free and yeah, I haven't recorded in a long, 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 long time, at least probably three weeks for a while so I'm sorry about that but I am back I'm gonna try to do better um, I wanted to come on here and give you guys face before we even jump to the video unlike normally but here we are um, once we get to the video you guys are gonna see I have a different pair of lashes before I actually jumped off camera but these are lashes I ended up changing into so these lashes are my Lily lashes in NYC since I had different lashes on in the video I just want to jump here and tell you guys that before we even jumped into it but yeah if you guys are excited about seeing this look today then make sure you hit the subscribe button give the video a thumbs up and stay tuned okay so I'm not really too sure what I want to actually do for like a look today but I'm pretty sure I'm going to come here and do my intro with my face already done. So you guys are going to see it, but I'm not too sure right now what I'm going to do. But I'm going to go ahead and beat my face first, and then I'm going to go ahead and jump into the eye look. I do not want to do some fluffy lashes today. I haven't done my makeup, like, beat in a while, and I'm feeling like I want to do a beat, okay? So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to jump right into my face. Like I said, so I'm going to use my Far Solid Skin Tune Blur, because that's the primer that I have right in front of me. So... If my eyes look a little naked, they are. I just took my eyelash extensions off. I had like some big lashes on for my birthday. I kept them on for about two weeks, which is a long time for me. Because if I'm being realistic, I always keep my eyelash extensions on for like a week, week and a half at most. And I got them done on my birthday. And it's now the 22nd. So... They lasted about, they would have lasted longer, but I slept, I sleep basically with my face pressed against the pillow. I'm not even gonna lie, like I sleep pretty rough, like literally like, or like face in the pillow, like smushed in there. So shout out to my girl Joanne for even getting them to last as long as they did. They will last longer, they lasted about two weeks, but... I'm horrible, but they lasted a really good, like, long time for me, so shout out to her. I'm going to go ahead and do my concealer, nope, backpedal. I'm going to go ahead and do my highlight under my foundation. I'm going to use my matchstick in cinnamon today. This is the only um, stick highlighter I have, so if I'm ever highlighting under my foundation, this is the one that I'm going to be using because it's the only one that I have. I'm just going to buff this out with my Sigma brush. This is my F79. I'm about to say F14. I was definitely going to make that up. I don't even think I have a Sigma F14 brush for me to even say that this is what that brush would be called. Look at that glow, honey. Okay, so now I'm going to put my highlighter on and this is well, my concealer. This is my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in 415 Honey. I always want to say 415 Copper, but I'm pretty sure my foundation is in 400 Copper. It might not be 400, but I'm pretty sure my foundation color is Copper. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and put on my contour. So my matchstick in Espresso. So like I said, my birthday just passed and I had so much freaking fun on my birthday. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to use two foundations. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick. And this is in the shade 410 Cocoa. And I'm going to use my Fenty um, Hydrating Foundation in 420. So I'm going to put this on while I'm talking to you guys. I had so much freaking fun on my birthday weekend y'all oh my gosh so i went home we went to mgm went to my um cousin's house because her birthday is the day before my birthday um and we were safe this whole time obviously we went out we wore masks and all that washed our hands hand sanitized and all that wasn't coughing on nobody wasn't having nobody coughing on us all that jazz but 
I had so much fun. You guys have no idea. Oh my goodness. I turned 26. That's crazy. For anybody who thought I was like way younger than I am, like I'm not. But thank you guys. Like I'm not old or nothing. Like 26 isn't old. I feel super young. Like young young but 26 isn't old but if anybody thought i was like 18 or something i am not i just turned 26 and i am loving it i had the best time on my birthday like you guys have no idea my husband made it amazing for me oh my goodness it made my birthday so amazing I got a MacBook for my birthday, a brand new MacBook Pro. He has been doing so great and I've been being such a bum. I have not even been recording and using it to its full potential. I have been using it to keep up with my website and my style seat and all that, but I haven't been using it like for um, editing and all that because I have not been recording and I've been being such a bum for real with youtube and i'm so sorry guys i've been feeling so bad because i have not recorded and i did not realize how long it has been since i actually sat and recorded until i actually like sat and like looked on my camera to like go through and like what is the word i'm trying to like go through and just make sure i had enough space on my camera and go through my videos and then i was like wait i don't even have a video from recent that i even have to delete like wow you're a bum okay a whole bum i'm gonna go back into my matchstick and i'm gonna contour my nose just a little bit more because i definitely like od'd with the concealer when i was blending it out and didn't mean to do that so let me just go over the actual like arch on my nose because that just made my nose look wider than it actually is normally so let me fix it I feel like my nose looks crooked now but you know whatever so we're gonna run with it I'm gonna leave that out because I might need to redo it after I do my brows I think now that I'm looking at it so let me should i set under my eye right now let me blend this out a little bit more if you have a macbook and you or or and you are on youtube and you don't use iMovie to edit can you guys suggest good things or good apps or whatever or the websites or programs whatever to that you use to edit because i'm curious I'm all for, like, I'm okay with continuing to use iMovie. I have no problem with using iMovie. Like, it's not a big deal. But I know everyone doesn't use iMovie. So, if you don't, can you leave some suggestions down in the, in the what? Can you leave some suggestions down in the comments for me, please? I'm going to set my face and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this video is probably going to be pretty alone if I do have to guess. So I set my under eye with my Laura Mercier translucent powder, the regular one. And obviously that's on my nose. I did my brows with this Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Defining Pencil in Deep Brown. And I kind of love it. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of a banger. And I use the same concealer I used to conceal under my eye to do that. So now I'm going to go ahead and contour, bronze, and set my the rest of my face. So I'm going to use my Morphe Bronzer to do that. And I'm going to use this angled brush that I got from TJ Maxx like a year and a half, almost two years ago. And I'm just going to use both of them and like swirl it around, tap off the excess and pat it into my face this is pretty dark like pretty dark so you don't want to get carried away looking very bronze now so i don't know i was going to set the rest of my face with this nutmeg powder from fenty but now i am not so 
sure I don't think I am so I'm going to do my blush now. nope I'm gonna do my under eye now because I'm going to do my eyes next so I'm gonna put my Fenty Beauty powder and cashew on my under eye because I'm going to do my eyeshadow so this is going to be what I'm going to have under here to just give me a little bit of safety net you know so things don't hit the fan we will work it out it's just so it doesn't go past a certain point so I'm going to use my ABH and into Jackie palette today and I think because I have like this burgundy situation going on in my hair I want to do burgundy situation on my eyes I'm thinking so that might be what I want to do so I'm going to go ahead and use ginger ginger is this brown shade right here and I'm going to pop that let me just tap out this concealer on my eye so there's no creases And ginger is just a brown shade. Oh, should I zoom me out empty? I want to be zoomed in. Oh, now y'all are close. Now y'all are close. It's literally nothing special going on here, but now y'all are up in the business. I think I'm going to switch brushes to a... Oh, oops. Oops. This brush, or to a different brush, to a different brush, to this brush. This is a more tapered brush, and I'm going to dip into edges. Or do I want to dip into credit? Credit is a deep brown. I'm gonna mix edges and credit because credit is a deep chocolatey brown. wigglies because That's it. Mm hmm That's it. Boom. I'm going to do the other eye off camera and then I'm going to be back. Okay, so I did go ahead and pop some of Zam on top of the wiggly. So just to add a little bit of shimmer and I dust the powder off from under my eyes and I sprayed my face. I did get this Wet n Wild Cucumber Photo Focus Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water. 
um it's my first time ever trying any of the spray from wet n wild but i do like it i did pop on some lashes from wispy lane um I will leave their website or Instagram, one or the other, or both down in the description box in case you guys want to try them out or check to see what they had. Um, I did use their lashes before, but these are super long, super luscious, super voluptuous, and I love it. Makes my eyes look very extra. So I'm going to go ahead and add blush now. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Bella Blush by Juvia's Place. You already know. This is how she's looking. I'm gonna use this angled brush by Morphe and I'm gonna tap off excess. Cause y'all know this blush is very pigmented. I want everything to mesh well. And then I'll do highlight now then i'll do my lower lash line i think then i'll do my lips yeah so i'm gonna do this dose of colors and desi and katie this dose of colors yeah yeah fuego highlighter from their collab like two years ago i think and still a banger i don't even think i'm pretty sure they don't sell this anymore it might have been a limited edition thing but it's still bomb. All right, I'm gonna spray my face again one last time before I do my lips and my lower lash line. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do a brown liner. I'm gonna use this Appeal Gel Liner in Deep Taupe. Like I said, it's just a brown. Then I'm going to buff edges and ginger on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to use Sandstorm by NYX. Okay, this is super light, so not Sandstorm. I'll use brown. And then I'll use this Becca lipstick and yours truly. So this is the finished look, but you guys already saw that before I jumped off of camera and moved back a little bit. Um, I think you can see it a little bit better. You can see the blend a little bit more. You guys can see chest, neck, face, shoulder, everything, match, period, slay, all of that hair, sitting, laid, slayed, and sauteed. Um, I love how this look turned out. I didn't lose my mojo. I did I got it it's all still there um but if you guys like this video if you didn't already give it a thumbs up make sure you do that before you hit on out um you subscribe before you start before we start it make sure you do that before we leave too and yeah like i always tell you guys i'm your girl tiffany thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video